Bunny, and today we are going to be doing something very fun and very special, and it's something that I have wanted to do for a very long time. Today, I am going to be trying to recreate one of my old makeup videos. It used to be like a phenomenon on YouTube. Get ready with me and you would have some special occasion and you would be like, get ready with me. I'm going to the red carpet. No one does that. I think that this was my very first get ready with me that I ever posted to YouTube six years ago in 2013. It was a get ready with me for my hot, hot Valentine's Day date. I thought it would be fun to just try and go back and laugh at I'm sure what the holy terror that we're about to watch. I am still doing my makeup wrong six years later, but I guarantee you I was doing it like really, really wrong. I went to Ulta with my little shopping list. I have some hair things in here, some makeup things, and we're gonna just like, you know. I cannot wait to hear my voice. This might have been my first voiceover ever and oh, you better believe. I thought I was like professional, split screen, showing you guys the products. I had just learned to do that. I really thought I was something. Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today is gonna be my get ready with me Valentine's Day edition video. So I'm starting out with my hair just washed and no makeup on my face. It's gonna take divine intervention for me to get this voiceover <laughs> done. So I'm starting. It's still gonna take divine intervention. My face looks weird to me here. Does anybody else have that like phenomenon? Like it is almost like I am looking at a different person. I like my face better now. Is that a very odd thing to say? I will, however, say uh, my hair is vaguely freshly washed. I just washed it late last night. Does that count? Woo! My hair is a living, breathing turd sickle. That is the one thing I'm envious of looking at right there because you guys, if my hair was as short as it is there, I would be able to fly. I'm wholly convinced. Look at this, okay? This is my belly button, which literally no one has ever asked to see in my life. This is my hair and it is at ass level now. And I thought that I wanted that. I really thought that I wanted that for my life, but I don't. This is my butt and this is my hair and I don't want that anymore. Oh my God, my hair is stuck to the chair. My hair is literally stuck to the chair. 911. Ow. Do you hear this little accent I'm doing with my voice? Out with my Bumble and Bumble sea salt spray in my freshly washed hair and I have to wait for my curling iron to heat up. Here is kind of, I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of trying to decide if for my channel I wanted to create a whole new identity for myself. At this point in time, I was so obsessed with swamp people. I am really sad that I don't have more of like a really southern twang accent, you know, and I really just thought maybe I wanted to talk like this for the rest of my life and just put that on. And every time I turned the camera on, I was thinking of committing to this. Can you imagine? I have no faith that this is gonna work on my hair at this point in time. Are you ever supposed to put this on dry hair? I don't even think my hair is healthy enough to be spraying salt in it. Ooh, oh my. I just inadvertently taste it a little bit. It tastes like the ocean. I almost just directly sprayed it into my mouth. I think I should just talk like this for the rest of the video. What would you guys think about that? Since my hair is ungodly, going to try and curl it using the cheat method. I think I was like trying to do this like <laughs> toddlers and tiaras, full glitz. Do you know what I mean? Looking back on it, I, I loathe this hairstyle now. Oh my God. My hair was combed. I'm following along, but also, have we learned nothing over the past six years? I feel like I can change it up just a little bit. I have since learned this hair hack, which is very helpful if you have long hair and you don't want to spend the rest of your life here on earth curling it. You can put it up in a ponytail and then just curl the ends. I used to do this all the time when I was uh, getting ready for meet and greets. I used to be so nervous to meet you guys the night before that I could literally never go to sleep and then by the morning, I just wanted those five sweet, sweet extra minutes of sleep. I'm just gonna be doing this for a very, very long time. You should learn a fact within the next 20 to 30 minutes. Actually, it's just gonna be instant for you. I was like, you should go Google a fact and then like just, just teach me something 
in the comments down below. Here's a fun fact for you guys. Can you believe this get ready with me video has been viewed, I think like 3.6 million times. I do you remember when I put this video up and it was like one of the first videos that I had ever done where it started to like get views pretty rapidly and even then I had no idea why. I'm like, why, why are people watching this? I don't get it, but thank you. And 10 years later, why are people watching this? I don't get it, but thank you. You know what I just realized, honestly, is um, it probably wouldn't take me so long to get ready if I just didn't spend 90% of the time singing and dancing. I probably shouldn't like be trying to do, you know, Expelliarmus, Expelli Expelliarm, how do you say that? From the Harry Potter squad? What do you call, what do you call a Harry Potter fandom? Harry, f Harry, Harry... Potter, Potterdom? Potter? Mmm. That actually only took about 20 minutes. I'm proud of my, I was gonna say it's time management skills. It's literally not. I think I just maybe did a bad job, but now it is time to spray this hair. I'm scared to take this hair down out of the ponytail and like just see what it looks like. Oh, <gasps> see, I love this. Do you know what I'm saying? There's like some stragglers. I don't think I curled every single section. Yeah, nope, missed a spot there. That is still my MO. I don't like to look too perfect. I don't like to look too put together. Do you ever see people that just look too perfect and it kind of creeps you out just a little bit? I think they're gonna harvest my organs or something. I don't know. Let's see what six-year-old bunny what advice she has for my us next? Naked face. Naked and the first face. thing that I always start my makeup off with is my Murad Cleansing Toner White. Listen to me. If there was one product that I could like, like revive from the dead, it would be the Murad Cleansing Wipes. I felt like it was always just a wonderful way, especially if you're somebody like me and you have like incredibly oily eye zone or T zone. I felt like I could just sit down and start with one of those Murad cleansing wipes and just like do my makeup. And literally now, every time before I do my makeup, I have to wash my face and I hate it. Okay. So just to wipe off any makeup residue from the day before and help you would keep think, my uh, acne under control. Washing speed your face dry. would do that. Oh um, my God, speed so dry. Oh, I missed that fan. Did I just not finish my hair at this point? God bless. Okay, um, so I am using Wait, let's let's hear what I said. Oh, I, I even interrupt myself. Next is my Yves Saint Laurent under eye rollerball, and this helps with dark circles and puffiness. And I always go back and just rub it in with my finger. I'm not looking forward to that. I remember stepping up to whatever this Yves Saint Laurent rollerball under eye thing. I think that it's discontinued, but I was trying to like level up and become like a real fancy YouTuber because I know what I had used forever before I started trying to use this like fancy Yves Saint Laurent under eye rollerball was this, which everyone on YouTube used, the Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller with Caffeine. And I feel like that was kind of one of the first like little YouTuber, like I don't even want to say, it wasn't as intense as a product conspiracy or anything, but I remember Leanne and I having a conversation about like, is caffeine good to just be like putting in your under eye area? My blood is 90% caffeine, so I might as well just start dropping it in my eyes as well. I'm honestly excited to retry this product because it has been another lifetime since I've used any kind of under eye depuffing rollerball. Oh my, do I always have puffy under eye bags like this? Oh my god, I feel like I never like just evaluate what's going on with my face. <laughs> and then sometimes I look and I'm like, oh, sh <gasps> am I applying too much of this? I'm like, oh, my whole face can be clearly bright. All I have clean is this little gray baby beauty blender. It's time to wash beauty blenders in this household. Did that do anything i really feel like i should have done a before and after let's see what i say to myself Make sure that it's drying and working its magic next is also my murad anti-aging cream and this is just a daily moisturizer with mm -hmm. spf Ooh. and moisturize moisturize uh, looking good 
I love all these little moisturize, moisturize. I don't know if Murad makes that particular anti-aging moisturizer anymore, but I do have this one and I love it. And I feel like my skin has been a little extra oily lately. We are gonna go in with the Murad Oil and Pore Control Mattifier. Can I do that same voice? Moisturize moisturize dry shampoo and okay 10 tenths of this video is my hair i thought that i said i was using the bedhead rockaholic dirty secret dry shampoo but i'm not sure if they changed the packaging because now i'm looking at what i'm doing there and i'm definitely using a pink bottle now i really don't understand what in the power of christ compelled me to spray dry shampoo in freshly washed hair. Oh, I love the smell. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my life. Ooh, do you guys remember the dirty Dr. Quinn? That was my favorite hairstyle for the longest time. I just like to sort of, I don't, like, what am I doing here? I spent all that time curling my hair just to wad it up. I'll be back when I sort this crisis out. And I'm back. Um, what does this look like from the back of my head? I don't know. That's a question that I haven't asked myself honestly in the past 10 years, but I'll go ahead and show you guys. I did this with a, a bun donut and a clip and a smattering of bobby pins. You know, like when, uh, when he says, BAM! Where the hell is he? Bobby Flay, did you kill him? What does that look like? Real bad? I bet so. I just wanted to channel Mary Shelley with my hair. So my outfit screams circus ringleader and my hair screams I'm a dead poet. Hair is over, thank God. Continue, old bunny. Old bunny sounds like a witch you would visit in the forest for advice. Now my hair is done, uh -huh. voila. Voila. about 45 minutes, but doesn't mm -hmm. that look good? Um, next I'm going to start on my makeup with my Benefit Pore Professional mm. Pore Minimizer. Just rub that right on in. Okay, and that is the problem with voiceovers. Does anybody follow voiceover makeup tutorials? I feel like all the steps just go by so fast. How would you ever possibly keep up with that? Working it right in my nose holes. So the next thing I think I used is a Mac Studio Fix. Fluid. Yeah. I did look everywhere for the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Tint. I don't think that they are making that product anymore. I do have this, which is the MAC Next to Nothing. I used to go to MAC all the time at my local MAC store. There was this girl who was so sweet and oh my god, she was so fun to hang out with. And I would just go in and she would just like do my makeup all the time. I feel like that's why I was using a lot of MAC products at the time. I feel like it did hide this big angry zit. See if I'm far away from you guys, oh, I look flawless. Don't get too close um, because yikes. <laughs> I can't even pretend like I give it. You know, people get zits. It's something that happens. Cover them if you want. Don't cover them if you don't. Uh, I don't care and neither should anyone else. Let's listen to the next step while I finish up this one. <gasps> next, I'm putting Ooh. on my foundation, foundation, which is my new favorite foundation with my Crown Jumbo Brush. Oh my God, and Crown this Jumbo is the Brush. the Amazonian Clay Foundation. Oh it looks so nice. Doesn't it? So it nice. nice. My eyes just about bulged out of my head when I went to the Tarte website about a week ago and I saw that they are still making that exact same foundation. I asked for the shade Fairly Light Beige and I also have the Jumbo Crown Brush and oh my god. I just have to say a little thank you to Tarte and Crown Brush for being some of the first brands that would have anything to do with me. I really have always, I don't know. I mean, some of this is just in my own mind and some of it is just like, I literally have never felt like I really fit in like anywhere. I do just sort of feel like 
the queen of hell. Especially like back in the day. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I felt like there was like the it girls of YouTube and they all had a certain style and a certain way of filming and a certain type of fashion. And then you have me. And I really felt like untouchable by a lot of brands and by YouTube on a whole. And once again, like I do sort of sometimes have this inner running monologue. So I don't know how much of this is completely true. Tarte was one of the, if not the very first makeup brand to ever send me PR or products. And that I can't even describe to you guys how much that really meant to me. I feel like I'm painting my face. Does that match? I know people all the time are like, companies are not your friend, corporations are not your friend. I can't, I don't even know how to describe it. But for me, like PR and stuff has always been so much more than just like, oh yeah, I'm getting free stuff. It felt nice to me that, uh, you know, these brands and stuff wanted to work with the weird girl. You know what I mean? I think I had maybe just uh, hit 100,000 subscribers because I had actually met Crown Brush at, oh my God, what was the very, what was the first like beauty? IMAX, oh my God, yes. I had just gone to IMAX and I had just gone to Hollywood for the first time in my life one month before I filmed this video. So that is how I had all these Crown Brushes at the time is I actually went to the Crown Brush Bruth, Bruth, I went to the Crown Brush Bruth and they were so incredibly nice and it was just so much fun. Kat and I went to IMAX together and um, Crown Brush just gave us these big bags and I remember saying to Kat, even at that time, I was like, oh my God, it's like trick or treating, but instead of candy, we're getting makeup brushes. I mean, I know, I know it is like free stuff, yay free stuff, but it was just the experience to me. The ex experience to me really just enriched my life in ways that I clearly cannot describe. Like sometimes I really do wish I could just like make these vlogs about like my whole experience in the industry. At least from my point of view, I feel like I'm explaining it really badly today because I know this video is already going to be like 12 years long. Oh my god, like style haul, does style haul still exist? Like this was at the time when I felt like style haul was just gobbling up any channel that showed like the least bit of growth and promise in the how-to and style genre and I just knew I knew that no one was ever gonna reach out to me because I'm just too weird do you know what I mean like I was half makeup tutorial half shoe unboxing half thrift hurl and uh half talking to dead people in graveyards you know not not the most brand friendly thing I don't know how I had four halves to my life but there you are I didn't know how I would feel about this foundation six years later but um, I, would, I would have to say it is a bit full coverage for me for daily wear, but for something like Valentine's Day or like, you know, something when you really want to have an absolutely like perfect flawless look, this really does it. And look at the texture. I don't remember it being kind of this like whipped consistency, but I'm here for it. And you guys, I don't think I used any concealer. So I'm very excited to see what my next step is gonna be. Next translucent Revlon photo ready powder and I just pat that on I don't like swirl it on and that's just because I'm you guys look at that dirty brush that is honestly one of the things that I have learned in my skin journey especially with trying to minimize breakouts is to absolutely wash my makeup brushes after every single use. And I know a lot of you guys think that that is absolutely just insane and like me and my germophobia, which fair enough, but I do also feel like just keeping my makeup cleanliness next level top notch has helped me minimize my kind of like all over breakouts. I do obviously still get breakouts, but I feel like not as intensely as I used to. Revlon does not make that photo ready line anymore. I was going to pick up 
the Revlon powder. They had like a loose setting powder. And I do almost think it was called like photo something. Um, but I took Kat makeup shopping with me and she said that 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 I was picking up was absolutely awful. And to try this one instead, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. I was trying to really do a balance between, do they even call like Tarte, MAC, you know, all of those brands, do they even call that prestige anymore? I remember a million years ago, uh, that is like at Ulta, they would call it drugstore or prestige. I wanted to do like a balance between drugstore and prestige products. I'm just gonna try and do this like tap method which this is honestly so weird. I really have switched away from using setting powder in this kind of capacity. I only now put powder on my face where I bake my face. I don't even know how I was using a pressed powder back in the day, my God. I don't even really think that they make powders like that really anymore. Do they? Next we are moving right along to my brows. I'm using the Brow Architect by Tarte. I've got big wild eyebrows that I love, but they need a little combing. So it's just a, a long oh. kind of painstaking Dude. process. Does that eyebrow look like a turd? It does. Look like a little dog poopy. I feel like I'm better at brow grooming and shaping. I still do like to have very full brows. I feel like my face would just look kind of weird if my brows were too thin. I do not technically think that Tarte makes the brow architect anymore, but I was digging around in my makeup archives and I actually found an unused one. So I have this brand new brow architect. I have fair light. Seems like it makes sense for me. So we're going to use a combination of this and uh, the new sketch and set product, spoolie brush. My phone's farting. I have to admit, I really hate, and when I say hate, I mean loathe, how much I filled in my eyebrows here. Like, why was I doing that? I don't feel like Instagram brows look good on me at all. <laughs> I feel like I am filling them in more. Oh my God. How did I just do the exact same thing six years later? Now I'm gonna go in with the sketch and set. Oh my god! What color is this? Taupe. That normally works for me. Hello, nurse. Moving right along to my yes. Bare Minerals Well Rested Under Eye Powder. I swear you can tell the difference between using this powder and not using it. See? Can't you, can't you tell the difference? Just a little bit? I actually can! past bunny. I'll take it from here. Thank you. We're going to put it on side by side because I want to know if it is still going to make any kind of difference because I feel like in that video you can tell. I mean it's not like life changing, you know. You can tell something happened. going to use circular motions. Oh yes. I'm just like adding 15 layers. Next I'm going to be putting a Oh and my I god. I start out with my Makeup Forever eyeliner and oh my just god. draw the cat eye on there. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and cover this up with liquid eyeliner <gasps> a little bit later. <gasps> okay, so <laughs> taking my bizarre advice that I then passed on to you guys for years, y'all have to let me know, did anybody else ever in their life do this where you just drew on eyeliner and then covered it up with liquid eyeliner? Did I convince anybody out there still watching to do that and adopt that life policy? My God, what a bizarre in influencer. I really can't even do a cat eye with a pencil anymore. This looks so bad. It's making me violently uncomfortable. What could possibly be next? I swear that like drawing it on with a regular pencil makes the liquid eyeliner process go by so much smoother than if but you how? don't do it at all. So I don't know. It's kind of like the easy way to do this in my opinion. Adding a little bit of eyeliner to my waterline to make my look pop a little bit more. Add a little bit more drama. Next I'm going- Is that what that does? Okay, I forgot that I needed to underline my under eye. I never know what to call that. I just called it the waterline. How was I showing you guys doing this at this point? To add a little bit of eye 
eyeshadow primer because for this look, I would like to have a little bit of shimmer. So I'm just going to go in with a very light shimmery eyeshadow. My pick for today is a color by Tarina Tarantino. And oh I'm going to have to uh, include the shade down below because I oh. don't remember. Really miss Tarina Tarantino makeup. I felt like her products were so cute. I think that that was kind of the problem with that line is like you would get one eyeshadow shade for like 60 bucks or something it was so expensive i feel like that's why i always saved it for like fancy occasions which honestly i'm shocked like i thought that that brand was out of sephora in 2013 so i wonder if i was just using like a super old eyeshadow oh my god we're gonna have to go back and fix this these eyes look terrible i'm haunted by this so um i don't think that tarte makes that particular base tape or face face base tape what what the hell was that called poreless eye primer i don't think that they make that anymore i'm gonna do the product that I use now, which is cheating a little bit, but hey, it's my video. What I have been using lately as an eye base are these Huda Beauty Melted and Mattes, and I use the matte side, and I've really been loving this shade, which is called Faux Fur. I don't understand now, looking back and examining my life choices, why I ever put on eyeliner and then like an eye base and then an eyeshadow because I'm literally just smearing the eyeliner everywhere. It's terrible. I swear that helps me with fallout and is that what the word fall, fallout? The stuff that falls mm -hmm. onto your cheek that mm -hmm. everyone hates. I always That's why you do eyeshadow first, paper right? To cover up my cheek and everything toilet else paper. so that... I just don't get like sparkle all over my face. Uh huh. That way you just get pink eye. eye. So I can throw that away. Uh huh. And continue on with my makeup. Should throw this so whole I'm look away. Oh my god, a single eye. eyeshadow shade. Bold choice. I use shade in the ColourPop Flutterby palette, which is called get away get away from this look oh you know what okay so to prevent fallout now i do not use toilet paper and i actually just would never ever ever do my makeup in this order anymore how did i just not have a raging case of pink eye at all times so um now if i was ever going to do my makeup in this really bizarre order i would just use these blotterazzi what am i even doing now wait did i just oh did I just hum the McDonald's I tune? Blend out nice, right in the middle of my voiceover. God. Uh, so yes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And adding a little bit of liquid. I'm loving it. Oh my God! I just looked up. I was like just listening to it. Look at that atrocious cat eye eyeliner to my waterline that I'm going to go back and blend out with this other Why? random eyeliner that I found in my eyeliner stash. That does not that look clean. makes it look not so harsh. No, it doesn't. And now comes my favorite part of doing my makeup, which oh, my is God. Okay. contouring with... Contouring. Okay, uh, let me catch up. I know it's only one color and I know I'm kind of cheating because blending, okay, is something I just didn't believe in back in the day and I remember I used to get kind of pissy when people would be like blend your eyeshadow and I literally didn't want to blend it I didn't want to blend it I liked the look of unblended eyeshadow back in the day call me crazy but I don't I don't know why that was my aesthetic looking back on it I can definitely see how it's mostly a horrendous life policy to have this is not a dupe for that Tarina Tarantino shade at all but it's on my face now so I was able to find this exact eyeliner from wait it's so weird how it literally has no labeling on the product at all like when I saw it in this video I thought I had just like rubbed the logo off because I don't know if that happens to you guys but like well it happens to me because I like sanitize my makeup products all the time but like you see the logo starts to rub off so I thought I had just rubbed the logo off no no logo there is no logo present on this product it was also on the bottom shelf which I think means they they don't give a sh about this product and they're not really trying to sell it anymore I remember this was like my staple eyeliner forever and ever so I was excited to see it 
Hello, old friend. I don't remember how much control you get with these products. If I look at old me, the answer would be like zero. But maybe with the skills new me has harbored, I'll be able to do something different. I feel like the line is getting so thick. See, I'm not completely covering up my guide line. I like it, but it does dry out super fast. It like dries out quicker than I can like draw this shape. Yeah, I, I don't hate this product if I'm being honest. I feel like you can paint it on really fine or go really thick with it. So now I'm gonna do the other eye. Took me five minutes and 20 seconds to do this eye, <laughs> just for your reference. Is that even? I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't know why I'm choking. I'm choking on the ridiculous concept of painting liquid eyeliner underneath your eye. Why would I ever do this? Who told me this was okay? Oh my gosh. That doesn't look good. Okay. It's gonna be so much fun to try and blend that out. Look at that. Look at what I've done. I can't deny it. I still really like that like slept in kind of like grungy makeup look but I think that there's just better ways to achieve it. Cause let me tell you what me and my like junior high best friend, what we used to do when we wanted to look like grungy kind of people, we would apply eyeliner and sleep in it literally so that it had that like slept in, lived in kind of feel. Now, how I was able to get comfortable and sleep with makeup on my eyes, I could no sooner do that now than I could just like something else. That would be impossible for me to do. Okay, next step, mon ami. My little oh yeah, <gasps> ooh, I forgot. Rest in peace. Browser which is Tarte's Park Avenue Princess, and I go a little bit crazy with the bronzer, but I love contouring, because you get to make the silliest, most ridiculous faces, and I also add a little bit of the bronzer to my under chin area, and now it's time for blush. Did you guys see that? I just literally painted my face orange. I cannot wait to do that. Does this turn out okay in the end? I don't remember. So here is Tarts Park Avenue Princess. And I'm gonna be honest, I still do go back and forth to this product over the years. This was another one of my like holy grail sacred Tarte product. You know what? I see why definitely people looked at me and watched these videos and was like, how did she get to do a makeup palette? Yeah, I see it. I see I see what you're saying. But you know what? I have a passion. I have a passion for makeup. And I feel like I've learned. I've come a long way over the past 10 years, right? I'm just gonna apply this so that my Martian relatives on another planet can see it. I'm gonna be true to form. And you guys, rest in peace, Tokidoki makeup brush. That was another brand, another like makeup brand that I just, I loved their makeup stuff. I don't think I ever got as into their actual makeup products, but I loved the brushes. They were some of the cutest makeup brushes I still think that have ever existed. It is such a struggle, if I'm being honest, to layer this product on to get it to look that insane. But we're going for gold today, you guys. Like, I feel like I still say that to you guys all the time. Like, I love when I just come up with a very weird look. Like, I feel like I, ne I still never to this day really try and use makeup in a normal way. Like if I do red makeup, I do it to the extreme. I even put like red eyeshadow in my eyebrows or I do like an orange look where I try and make like my entire face look kind of orangey. So it's not like I've stopped doing the insane stuff with makeup. I just think that I'm able to really I don't know, get a better look. Like I'm not doing this anymore where I just have like the most harshest looking unblended bronzer anyone has ever seen. Let's get to blush. Which I um, love too, cause it's like brushing things on my cheeks. And I don't know, I just, I derive fun from that. I'm a strange, strange girl. So adding a little 
slash lot bit of blush. I'm kind of like a serial offender with putting too much blush and bronzer on. So then I go through with this. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, I think that the shade of blush that I was using there from Tarte was also called Natural Beauty. And it was very, very Boom! It was like the red shade of blush. I have this one, which is called Dazzled. So that's what we're gonna go with today, folks. I don't know if it's gonna give us that same color. Why did I just put that much blush on? I have to admit, too, I don't really put blush here on my face anymore. I put it, like, here. I don't know why. I don't think that's right, but... That's what I like to do. I don't know. Um, I feel like I focused more. Oh, I still got that heavy handed blush ability. I just do what my hands tell me to do. Okay. Wow. She's blushed. Um, so yeah, the very next step that I do is I take this brush from Crown Brush. My intestines were tickled when I saw that they still made this brush. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Yes, I always called this. Didn't I call it my little acorn brush? Pine cone shape brush. Pine and cone. Blend it all out. Wouldn't it just make sense to not apply it on that thickly to begin with? It does look better. It looks better than when it was just whatever it was moments ago. Moving right along to my Yves Saint Laurent mascara. And I think watching somebody put mascara on is like the most boring thing that you can possibly do in a video. So we're just... I still agree. So they don't make that uh, Yves Saint Laurent mascara anymore, but I watched another get ready with me video that I did around this same time period a couple months later and I forgot another brand of mascara I really loved at the time was Physicians Formula. Now they always made this leaf shaped mascara. It was like in a metallic thing. I don't think they make that anymore but I was very drawn to and intrigued by this product which is organic natural origin mascara with olive extract. I also really love the packaging. I don't know, something about this. I mean, I'm sure that's their marketing strategy, but something about this product, it just says, oh, fresh to me. Like I would just find this hanging in the produce section and wipe it on my eyes instead of eating it. So yeah, I'm gonna go through and uh, I still think watching somebody put mascara on is like the most boring step ever. You guys, it is gonna take a heaven act for me to not go like boom, like, and just totally, I was about to say sabotage this look that I've created, but what is this look that I've created? All right, mascara on. And I really liked this product a lot. The brush is kind of grabby, which maybe doesn't sound that great, but I think it does a really good job of kind of gripping and grabbing onto the lashes and really discovering a lot of the little like baby lashes that you might have. Let's find out what's next. It is dramatic, but not dramatic enough. So I'm putting on some Eco Tools lashes, which has the creepiest packaging in the world. <laughs> I just made it a little bit creepier with that dance there applying the lash glue I love these false eyelashes this is my first experience with them and they just I... imagine blowing bacteria all over the eyelashes I remember I used to do all kinds of crazy stuff that is kind of the only like proper type of thing that I've leaned into with actual like makeup education is like more cleanliness like don't blow spit and bacteria all over the eyelashes you're about to adhere to your eyes unfortunately eco tools does no does no longer make eyelashes <laughs> it's two in the morning at this point they don't make those lashes anymore which is sad I don't think they make fake eyelashes at all because the brand was really good and they did make some very nice natural lashes, which I must admit I don't really use natural looking false eyelashes anymore. When I put on false eyelashes, I like them to be big, bold, and very dramatic. But I was able to find these nice natural lashes. Should I try and do my little dance again? It's really not as creepy. That Eco Tools packaging did actually have like a nose. It was so weird. I loved it. Um, anyway, this is in the style 
page boy and I'm sure you guys can see that these are very fluffy I think they're still more dramatic than that style you know what I'm just gonna glue them on you're not missing much, honestly. You guys, I love these lashes and they took very little lash glue. I love how I have that little bit of eyelash just glued. Wait, should I do that? We can go completely authentic. Just a little trimmed piece of eyelash stuck to the side of my hand. It's a look. This may be my new favorite type and brand of lash. They look really natural. They're just used it for the first time today. It's my new favorite. Okay. They're very easy to apply. <gasps> Don't they look so lovely? Commitment. Uh, that was a random clip. Um, so that is basically my eye look finished. Moving on to lips. I'm adding a little bit of the Sally Hansen primer, and this has collagen in it, which I don't really think that I need any collagen on my lips, but fishy lips, uh, I don't know. It's a good moisture. Okay, so I, once again, I don't think Sally Hansen, I think for a while they were kind of branching out of like nail care and doing some kind of like face prep or cosmetic product. I don't think they do that anymore. I looked everywhere for the Sally Hansen collagen, whatever. They don't make it anymore. But what I do have is Max Prep and Prime. And I don't know, don't quote me on that. I'm not sure if this has collagen in it or not, but... Um, I just got this product and I love this. This is kind of like another old favorite. I feel like it's something that I used to use a lot. Okay, what's next? Next, I'm adding some red lip liner. It's Boutique brand and I got this from Sally Beauty Supply. I almost said Sally Hansen Beauty Supply, but that makes no sense. People used to comment all the time because I would say I got that Boutique red lip liner for 99 cents and everybody's like, that has lead in it. And now I wonder, I wonder if it did have lead in it because I went to Sally Beauty Supply trying to find that and I even looked for Boutique red lip liner online I didn't say I mean don't I'm not making any claims here but I just wonder I heard that super cheap red makeup sometimes does have trace amounts of lead in it like I said I don't I don't know if that's true or not but today once again we are coming in hot with the MAC lip products so this is a red lip liner in the shade cherry i feel like it has been far too long since i've just done a red lip like this in my lip stain which is revlon's just bitten and i swear by this it lasts through kissing y'all boyfriend i know i can vouch for you so this is a wonderful lip stain if you're yeah i that was one of the products that i honestly when i saw the video i was really hoping that they did still make the revlon just bitten lip stains i don't know why brands stopped making lip tent products i feel like on a whole there's just not many lip tents left in the world and also the marker style lip tents there was this revlon one that i loved for a while there was also the milk makeup like lip marker things those were so cute i loved those so much i'm sad that those are discontinued as well so i did want to go ahead and use a tent i still think that benetent is being made don't get me wrong i love this product as well it is always going to be like one of my lifelong staples you paint it on like a brush so that is a little different but now i must admit out of all of the overkill excess layering of products that i do in this video with like layering eyeliner on top of eyeliner and all of that this uh three product lip strategy is something i still do do it does last if you're gonna be kissing or eating food or if you know you're not gonna be able to do a lot of touch-ups during the day um i still have done this for like events and meet and greets and all kind of stuff like that like if i know i'm gonna be doing a lot of talking the three lip layer thing works I think just layering uh, like a lip tint over a lip liner it somehow like locks the color in one more step huh? one and last but not least 
but not least, I'm going to add a coat of Max Ruby Woo on top of my lips. This is the one occasion, like when you know you're going to kiss somebody, <laughs> that it is wonderful to have such a chalky lipstick as Ruby Woo. And now I'm going to put on my Unif dress. Oh my god, I thought I had Ruby Woo sitting right here. Oh no, you guys. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna actually layer this uh, red Shane Dawson liquid lip. I think this is called Are You Filming? At the moment, this is kind of my favorite red shade. I thought I had ruby woo here i don't know how i don't have that lipstick in my life i feel like if i would have known i did not have ruby woo i would have bought a new one i kind of messed up on this side i don't feel like my lip look is a hundred percent even you guys i thought i still had this unif dress but i don't i looked for it today and i could not find it that's why i'm wearing this which I paid like a dollar and 75 cents for at the thrift store. I'm just wearing soapy shorts on the bottom because um, if I'm being honest, I'm filming this the night before Valentine's Day instead of like on actual Valentine's Day, which I'm like, how was I sitting at home filming this on Valentine's Day? Um, I think I got like foundation in my hair. Let's let old bunny finish us out while I kind of blend this out. And this is the leopard dress that I don't remember the specific name of, but I love leopard print. And I just thought that this was perfect for Valentine's Day. It has cute little side cutouts and it's kind of a velvety material. It's so it's cute. cute. It makes it, it feel cute. sassy. So sassy. So that is my completed Valentine's Day look. And I've got my hair curl and I'm totally full of glitz. So I love you guys. I hope you had a great Valentine's Day. I hope you're having a great Valentine's Day. And uh, keep it sassy. And I will see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Bye. Oh my god. I really do miss like having a daily upload schedule. I feel like I am uploading much more frequently. And it really is bringing joy to my heart. Uh, so you guys... I am looking at this kind of like catastrophe right here on the screen and I can't deny I think that that's a good look it's cute it's kind of sloppy but I do love the super dramatic eyeliner look I kind of wish that I would have gone more extreme with it today so you guys have got to let me know what you think about this completed look did I have a little redemption journey today like do you guys think that my skills have improved kind of like slipped back and forth between whether i wanted to try and do a better job today than i did six years ago or if i did just want to comically layer on products in the exact same fashion so i don't know 50 50 is what we ended up with today but i feel like this was like a very good exercise for me to do especially if you guys watched my vlog a couple of weeks ago now where i was just giving you guys an honest up update about like my life and where my mind is at and how much over the past three years I've just been like looking back and reminiscing and like holding this like super high <laughs> I guess like thought of myself and the person that I was to, to kind of like a high unattainable standard in my mind. So this was really fun to look back today. And I, I do think it is good. I think it's good and fun to look back as long as you don't also stop looking forward and like working on the person that you are today and the person that you're becoming tomorrow, if that makes any sense. But I don't know. This was this was definitely a lot of fun for me and it was kind of eye-opening to see that I really did not have it all worked out and all put together so many years ago. I think I'm doing a lot better now. I think my skills have improved. I'm not, I don't know, this is like definitely one of the first times in a long time that I'm like, looking back at a former version of myself and I'm feeling much more contented with the person I am today than looking at this person. So a very different mindset than I had even six months ago. And I would just keep talking to you guys all day. But this video is so long already, you guys. I think I've been filming for like three hours. Oh my God. Leave me some comments down below. Would you guys like for me to attempt this again? Like test out another makeup look? Maybe not from like six years ago, but maybe just a couple of years ago. We can kind of like see how much my skills have differed from that point if any but anyway thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching leave me the comment orange cup if you stayed 
all the way to the end. That way I can see. I don't know, I'm just curious. I'm curious, I'm curious if even I'm gonna make it to the end of this video. But anyway, I love you guys so, so much. Thank y'all so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye.